Okay, what we're going to do right now is we're going to make waffles from scratch. We're going to take oatmeal and we're going to put it into a grinder and make flour out of it. And then we're going to put in a waffle iron and we're going to make waffles. We're going to do it my way. Okay, so let's have fun making waffles. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some 100% whole grain oats and we're going to turn them into flour with this magic mill grinder is what we're going to do. So let's let's take so, so let's take this whole wheat grain and let's pour us Couple of cups here. And we're gonna put them in here like this. Just take two cups of it. About like that. And put it in this mill make our own flour. So we're going to turn this on and uh, make our own flour here. There's my oatmeal flour I just made. I'll take this and I'm going to put it in a Ninja blender with some um, water and make me a batter. And then I'm going to uh, take some rice flour here and add to it. Okay, now I'm going to take my Ninja blender and remember the flour? I added two cups, two cups of uh, oatmeal flour and I'll just dump this in here. And then I'm going to add another two cups but I'm going to sprinkle some rice flour in here too just kind of sprinkle some around in there gold rice flour then I'll add more oatmeal to it another two make it a total of two cups if I can hit the cup I'll be doing great I just take the spoon and I just add it to it to make up the two cups you don't have to be perfect um, because we'll be adding water to this until it gets to a consistency that we can uh, put in the waffle iron. So there's another two cups. This is a Ninja. You get one of these from uh, Walmart for about 40 bucks. Um, next we're going to add water. Okay, now we're going to add uh, water. We've got some purified water here. Put about two, I'm going to put two cups of water in here. Probably end up adding a little bit more as I blend it, and then I just take and add the water to the to the mixture. You can see it kind of bubbling going down. And to see if I've got enough water, I just put my cap on. Turn this thing around so I can get to it. Put my cap on. There. I put my cap on. Put the cap on this and see if I how much water I need. See so you just it like that and it just kind of mixes it real fast. And of course I need to add um, you can pre pretty much put anything you want in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in it, just a I'm just gonna add just a little bit of salt. not overdo it. Sea salt they call it. But I'm going to go down in here and look at the consistency. It's still a little thick. So I'll just dump a little more water in it. 
like that. Put the cap, put the cap back on, like that. Then put my little top on it, my ninja top, ninja top like that. And then you can see a black. the way it works. Then I can check the consistency again just by taking the top off. It looks like it's turning to better now. You get it towards like a, a better consistency and it works better. See nice better. Some people think that's too thin, but it works pretty good in the waffle. Now, I haven't put any baking soda in it. I just put flour and salt. And now I'm going to get my waffle iron out and heat it up, and we'll pour that into the waffle iron and see how we do. So basically, the only thing I did was I took the oatmeal, and I put it in my mill, and I already had milled some rice, and I added that. See, this is kind of like gluten-free. Um, I mixed them together, and I added about four cups total of flour, put in my Ninja blender and added water, two cups of water. Then I just keep adding water until it gets to a consistency that I can pour into the waffle iron. Now that's neat, isn't it? Okay, so now we're ready for the waffle iron. The batter's all ready and we're going to uh, put it in the waffle iron. Here's the waffle iron. Here's the waffle iron. And here's our oatmeal batter and we're going to pour try not to overflow it like I do then we're going to cook it for eight minutes you can set a timer if you want I'm going to go so I'm going to push for eight minutes Oops, 30 minutes too long. Five minutes too short. There we go. Now we'll wait uh, for eight minutes. Okay, here we are eight minutes later. Look at those delicious uh, oatmeal waffles. Now all I have to do is just pull it right out of the pan here. And I'll pour me some more. Okay, I'm going to pour me another waffle here. This time I'm going to try not to overdo it. Last time I think I poured too much in there. Oh, here I go again. Getting good at over pouring stuff, huh? Alright. Let's close it up for another eight minutes. And I'll go back over here, and here's the timer, timer on, and then I'm going to take and put it up to 8 minutes, no not 20, go down here to 8, like that, that'll take care of it. So that's how I make my waffles, real simple, I just take oatmeal, grind it up my grinder with some rice, Put it in a Ninja Blender, add water, blend it up until it's smooth and pours easily. Put it in the waffle iron and voila, you got waffles. I didn't even have to put sugar in it because when I make my fruit puree, I put over the waffles and it makes a really good breakfast, a uh, supper too if you want, and it holds you a long time. You know, like they say, oatmeal sticks to the ribs. Sometimes I think it's true. Thank you for watching. Bye.